All right, I just reviewed some of the clips that I shot. Yeah, not one of my best videos, but I tried. I'm heavy, uh, I'm heavy into the vodka tonight, so <laughs> not good. But anyway, I thought it was good at the time that I was shooting the clips, but I don't know, whatever. I rambled on a little bit. But anyway, I hope this video helps, and hey, happy Thanksgiving, guys. See ya. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, guys, what's up? Worldwide here tonight. I swear, I go to record, right? Start the video. And my dog over there, Abby, she's crunching dog food. Loud as hell. But anyway, what's up? So tonight we're going to do a tungsten putty tutorial. And we're going to go over the couple uses. There's two uses for tungsten putty. And I think we've got everything we need to make a halfway decent video. Tripod. We have a couple sets of darts. We have actually a shadow going on. This isn't going to be the highest quality video. So totally bootleg on my dining room table. But anyway, we've got two sets of darts. We've got a big shadow there. We've got a scale. We've got a gram, or 28 grams, of tungsten putty. And we've got our beverages for the night. Absolute and Red Bull, the blueberry kind. And believe it or not, we have a DeWalt drill with a small drill bit. What the hell is that for? Well, you'll see. That'll be the end of the video. But anyway, Tungsten Putty Tutorial, let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Before we get into the video, I want to show you what exactly this tungsten putty is. Now, here is what you're looking at. You're looking at 28 grams or one ounce of tungsten putty. It's quite dense. It's not sticky at all. And this little chunk of tungsten putty cost about eight or nine dollars shipped. So there you go. That's what it is. And I know there's a couple different types. There's tungsten putty that's used for fishing. And from what I hear, that stuff is actually like really sticky. It sticks to the fingers. And this stuff, as you see, is not sticky at all. Let me squish it. Now if you pinch it, as you can see, it's pretty pliable there. I mean, you can work with it, but it doesn't stick to the fingers at all. So that's what it is. It's like eight or nine bucks. And I'm going to show you exactly the two uses it has in the world of darts. And there's my phone. Okay guys, I'm going to show you the first use for tungsten putty for a bunch of you OCD bastards, kind of like me. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So we're going to weigh, these are my old set of match darts, and we're going to weigh them up. 20.97 20.93 and all right 2108 so that's the heaviest dart so we're going to set that to the side and what we're going to do is use a little bit of tungsten putty and we're going to make these two darts weigh 21.08 so hold on a second i'm going to pause that and i'm going to break off a couple little pieces and show you guys exactly how little you've got to use to get all three of your darts match weighted Okay, as you see here, we have our heaviest dart, which isn't going to require any tungsten putty. 21.08, if you remember. Now, here we have another dart, and I broke off these absolutely tiny pieces of tungsten putty. Now, what we're going to do is throw this on scale. 21.08, and I'm going to take my little small nail, take this piece of tungsten putty, oops, throw it in the... Throw it in the back of the dart, get in there, and I'm going to pack that in. Get in there. There we go. So I'm going to pack that in, and that, uh, and that should weigh, all right, 2109, close enough. And with the next dart, Another little small piece. You see how small these pieces are? This stuff is quite dense. There's 2106. So, close enough. Actually, let's weigh that again. This scale is not always 100% accurate. 2107. So we're going to roll that up. Stick it in the back. And pack it in with a snail. So there you go. So now you pretty much have all three darts 
that weigh identical. I mean, you could really kind of fuss around with this and get them totally perfect. But I mean, there you go. You got one one hundredth of a gram. So all three of these darts are now perfectly match weighted. So that's one use for tungsten putty. And you see how easy that was? Totally simple. And I just use a small nail to pack in the tungsten putty in the back. And that's all you got to do. So that's one use. Now let's, uh, I'm going to show you one more use. Okay, here we go. Here is the second use for tungsten putty. Say you have your dart. And it's drilled out a lot in the back like some darts are. And I want to show you how deep this is. This is a 26 millimeter storm point. And if you throw it in the back, look at this dart. It's probably drilled out at least 20 millimeters deep in the back. Now what we're going to do is throw it on the scale again. All right, 20.82. Now we're going to take a couple chunks of tungsten putty. And look at that. Right at, wow, perfect. Right at 22 grams even. So what we're going to do is roll this stuff up, and we're going to stick it in the back. So you can roll this stuff up. It's real easy to work with. You can get it super thin. And you throw it in the back of the dart, and trusty old nail again. Pack that in there. And it packs in really tight. And what we're going to do is take another chunk, roll that up, and throw it in the back of the dart and pack it in again. So it packs in there really nice. And it should be right at, so there you go, pretty much right at 22 grams. The scale is not always 100% accurate. So you see, it varies a little bit, but, all right, 22 grams. And there you go. So now you have a little bit heavier dart, and as you see, the stem screws in perfectly. So that's how you make your darts heavier. So if you have a dart that's drilled out just a little bit in the back, like I said, this one's drilled out about 20, uh, 20 millimeters deep. And now you can make a heavier dart with tungsten putty. So that went up about a gram, a little over a gram. Whoa. So there you go, right at 22 grams, even. So that's another use for a tungsten putty. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to remove. And it's super easy to work with. Like I said, it's uh, this stuff that I get for the Pinewood Derby cars. It's really easy to work with and it's not sticky. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to break out the drill and show you how easy it is to remove. So super easy to work with. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so you have your dart packed with tungsten putty and you decided that you want to take it out. So all you do is take a drill, I have a small drill bit here, and we're going to stick it in. And the drill is in forward motion, and we're going to drill it out. And look at that, comes right out easy. Super simple, that's totally empty now, and there's your tungsten buddy. Oops, so that's how easy it is to remove with a drill. And that's about it for a tungsten putty tutorial. Like I said, uh, the one use is to make your darts match weighted. So that's good if you got OCD and you want all three darts to be perfectly match weighted. You can mess around with those if you have a scale so they'll be perfectly match weighted. And then if you want to make your darts heavier, and a good example of this is um, over on Darts Review Channel, They just uh, the Anastasia darts. He just did a review on those. And those things are drilled out like 25 millimeters deep. And that was a 6.5 millimeter wide dart. And I think they came in at 20 and a half grams. So if you think those darts are too light, what you can do is use this tungsten putty and you can probably bump those darts up to 22, 22 and a half grams. So keep that in mind. If you think a dart is too light, a lot of the monster darts are drilled out super deep in the back. So you're able to bump the, the weight up really easy. And I can hear a lot of you guys bitching like, oh, it's gonna throw the balance of the dart off. But I tell you right now, I promise you guys that when you add weight internally to the dart, it doesn't change the balance at all. Like if you add a point, like this has a storm point on there, and it's a little bit heavier than a normal point, that might throw the balance off a little bit. Or if you use a flight that's really thick and heavy, that might throw the balance off as well. So if you're adding weight 
to the extreme front or end of a dart, yeah, it's totally going to throw the balance off. But if you're adding weight to the actual barrel, I promise you guys it doesn't throw the balance off of the dart at all. So that's something to, that's something to think about. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope this uh, tutorial worked. And feel free to experiment with tungsten putty. It's really cheap. And 28 grams, geez, that'll last you quite a while. You can use several sets of darts. So anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next video. And happy Thanksgiving. Later, guys.